Welcome back to another chapter in our Ethical Hacking series. I'm Laura, and from time to time, Ammon will be joining us. This chapter will introduce the basics of risk management and disaster recovery. Since we are a part of IT operations in your enterprise, you could be involved in planning and applying policies related to risk management and or disaster recovery. We do not aim to cover all details or deep understanding of this topic, but we want to give some brief information about this very important domain. Now, an event that may have an effect on the daily operations of a given entity is called a risk. The effect could vary from downtime and disrupting the usual operations to losing money and sensitive information. Risk management requires an understanding of how security measures are implemented in your environment and how a threat can affect your daily operations. As a result, we need to understand the business operations and what kind of risk to which they might be exposed. Managing risk is essential since every new technology and software is introduced with new security issues and new risks. Mm -hmm. Failure to manage given risks will result at least in disruption of normal operations and can escalate to loss of data, loss of money, legal issues, or bankruptcy in some cases. That's right. Risk management goal is to reduce the presented risk to an acceptable level. Now these levels will vary from company from one company to another, mm -hmm. right? And depending on how big the environment and how much budget is given for the mitigation of those risks. Our target is to identify, control, and minimize the loss caused by risk. And where possible, we want to prevent any risk. Now given this, we must pay attention to cost. And when planning for risk management, we should balance between the impact of a risk and the cost of protective measures. Correct, yes.